And shares of Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna are falling. Companies' pricing policies questioned by Senator wow. Bernie Sanders. On Monday, a Bernie Sanders tweet, a single tweet, led to the drop in big pharma stock. So before I get to this clip from Bloomberg that I want to show you, uh, as it is bizarre in terms of uh, how they frame this whole discussion, but before I get there, I want to show you the Bernie tweet that led to all of this. So he tweeted out here. This is obscene. Last week, eight investors in Pfizer and Moderna became $10 billion richer as news about the Omicron variant spread. It's time for these pharmaceutical companies to share their vaccines with the world and start controlling their greed. Enough is enough. A perfect tweet. He's exactly right. This led to a drop in big pharma stock. <laughs> so let me play Bloomberg's comments on this and then uh, I'll get to my thoughts on all of this. We have been uh, watching a certain category of stock time now for our stock of the hour and shares of Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna are falling. Companies pricing policies questioned by Senator wow. Bernie Sanders. Kriti Gupta is with us now. Uh, that is a lot of decline for a tweet. Major exclamation point there. Senator Bernie Sanders uh, weighing on those stocks there. What's interesting is that to visualize that, let's just talk about the cost of getting the vaccines. Because here in the United States, you can get it through your health care, you can get it through, uh, or health care insurance, you can get it through your employer, you can get it through uh, the federal government that is subsidized as well. But for other countries, there is a major hurdle. Moderna, for example, costs $31 per dose. And for us uh, in, in the developed world that does have these kind of government subsidies, that may not be a lot. But for other parts of the world, it absolutely is. And this is going to be a big part of getting the whole kind of global vaccine equality picture really underway. But I mean, just take a look at how much Moderna shares have really gained. I mean, they have gained 1200 percent, over 1200 percent in the last two years. But they're actually down from their August peak to the tune about 45 percent. And there's several reasons for this. Like I said, one of the today's move is going to be from Bernie Sanders' uh, tweet, but it's also coming from the fact that uh, the Omicron variant over the weekend, some health care officials said, well, it's actually perhaps not as scary as we thought it was. It's targeting a lower demographic. They can bounce back faster. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, perhaps it's just not as deadly. So, of course, news like that is going to hurt some of those vaccine makers. I'll just, I'll just jump in and say it doesn't seem outrageous to me, $31 a dose. And, of course... The idea is that profit motivates these companies to pour money into R&D and then find these kinds of solutions. All right. So in a minute here, I will get to Mr. Uh, Matt Miller's comments. He's completely wrong, but it, it may sound like he knows what he's talking about there in terms of, you know, the profit motive driving this. Anyways, I'll get to my thoughts on all that in a second. But first, look how crazy it is. We live in a system where a small number of individuals financially benefit from a dangerous virus and then lose money when the new variant turns out to be not as serious as we initially thought. So they make money with a deadly virus, make less money when the virus is less deadly. How twisted is that? That's capitalism. Now, this goes into Matt Miller's point here where he says, Quote, $31 a dose doesn't seem outrageous to me. Profit motivates these companies to pour money in the research in research and development and then find these kinds of solutions. Now, that's actually wrong as it pertains to this vaccine, these vaccines, but I'll get to more on that in a second. But let's pretend that he's right. Let's take him at his word, that these companies would not be producing this vaccine weren't for the profit motive. What does that say about capitalism? That tells you that Capitalism is incompatible with a healthy society. You are admitting that capitalism is not good for people. It may be good for a few individuals at the top of these companies or at these, these large investors who make a lot of money from investing in these various stocks. But for a healthy society, capitalism is incompatible. But the reality is, when it comes to this vaccine... That isn't even the case. I mean, the profit motive did not, I mean, it did drive these companies, but it's not what led to the production of these vaccines. It's actually public money that led to the production of these vaccines. So more on that here. And by the way, I'll link to several articles, as I'll show you some of the headlines here uh, of the research around this, but I'm going to quote here from Quartz. 
Writing in the U.S., both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines rely on older scientific breakthroughs paid for by public money and then on fresh infusions of government grants last year from the German government in Pfizer's case and the U.S. government's Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority, BARDA, in Moderna's case. Moderna has said, in fact, that it has made clear the extent of BARDA's 100% funding of the program that hustled the vaccine from unapproved technology to licensed product. It's almost as if these states and their citizens are paying for these vaccines twice over, once to bankroll much or nearly all of the research itself, then again to buy back the products of this public-funded research. Pharma corporations benefit hugely from this model. Pfizer expects profit margins on its vaccine of between 20% to 30% over an unspecified time frame. On May 6, Moderna declared $1.7 billion in COVID-19 vaccine sales in the year's first quarter, its first ever profitable quarter. So, and by the way, as I said, there's more on this. You can check out Health Affairs. It was the government that produced COVID-19 vaccine success or a Scientific American for billion-dollar COVID vaccines. Basic government-funded science laid the groundwork. This is what led to these vaccines. And these massive companies profiting get to profit off of it. Now, that isn't to say the vaccines are bad. No, you should get vaccinated. Like, this is this is what a lot of people... Uh, there's a, a small contingency of people that, I guess, appear to be more on the left that are anti-vax because they don't like how these big companies are making all this money off these vaccines. You can have that criticism. It is a correct criticism that this system sucks. Capitalism sucks. This should be completely... Uh, there, there shouldn't be anybody making money off of these vaccines. It's public-funded research, public money created these vaccines, the public should benefit completely. So you can acknowledge that issue while still also acknowledging that the science behind them is correct. It is publicly funded science, and the science is correct. It is helping to protect people against a deadly virus. So the idea that, you know, the profit motive is the reason to, and <laughs> actually that is the case, that is often the case when it comes to the mass production of pharmaceuticals and these vaccines. It is the profit mode of driving it. But first, what does that say about capitalism? And secondly, it is public research that is often behind the initial uh, creation of these pharmaceuticals and vaccines. But, of course, that analysis is not going to be on Bloomberg. Though, I got to say, I'm kind of surprised that they even mentioned vaccine uh, equality in that segment. So the other two hosts there, or at least the one host doesn't appear to be terrible, you know, in bringing that up and mentions how $31 a dose is a lot for some countries, which is true, which is why, again, the TRIPS waiver, w, WTO TRIPS waiver, I've discussed a million times, that could be utilized to take these patents away from these big pharma giants and have mass production of these vaccines on a global scale. But it's good that she brought that up. But then you have, of course, you know, the uh, extreme capitalists on the panel discussing how the profit motive drove the creation of these vaccines, which, of course, is not true, even though it did drive the continued uh, desire for more and more um, uh, profit making out of this entire pandemic. But there you go. A uh, At the end of the day, it's still amazing to me that Bernie Sanders, a single Bernie Sanders tweet helped to lead a drop in big pharma stock price.